In this video, I will show how to enter engineering menu on a NTG 4.5 and also I'm going to show how to enter dealer menu. First, let's do engineering menu. You have to press hang up button, number one, and this button at the same time. So the first is going to be display and all these are information and settings you can do the head unit. So you can test the display, you can do diagnostics. Um, the most settings you can do is the HW settings. You click on it and you go down to HU and from now on, now there are 18 pages you go through. Usually this is when um, you replace the head unit from a different vehicle and they have different features and options. Let's say this is an E-Class and I got a head unit from a ML um, which also had off-road stuff added to it and then you can activate, deactivate uh, everything through here. So you can, you can also uh, change the clock. You can add if the car has an add vision. Um, you can 360 camera, deactivate, activate, depends on the features the car has. You can scroll down and you can see all the... Um, so this car has a tension assist installed. So it says installed also has a rear view camera which is installed has air conditioning of course and this is this menu you can change recirculation air icon on the air conditioning from sedan or a two-door coupe or any other so this car doesn't have a hybrid system so the hybrid it's not functioning you can also you can add the any of these features but if it doesn't have it's not going to work it's just going to show on the screen also i have changed the clock um analog clock from this style i've changed to uh round the style from SL body style and of course this is left handed steering wheel these are all the features what the car has and like I said if you change the head unit from a car that doesn't have certain features you can add it but also when you change the head unit you have to um, unlock it because they're all locked, anti-theft. Um, to do that, you need Vediamo and Zentri and other, other stuff. That's another video. So in this one video, I'm just going to show. Um, so this car has always drive system. It's a E63S formatting. Um, if you click on it, uh, you can select to have that view, which I don't want to have it this and this is um so then uh in this you can add the off-road on the screen if you want to but you don't want to add on an e-class an off-road from uh ml because it's just going to show an ml on the screen And these are all the features with the massage seats and non-massage seats. So, like I said, it depends on the unit. You do changes only when you change the unit, but you can do slight changes as far as radio. 
um, clock, something like that. That's the only thing. Or if you have any problems with audio, you want to figure out which speaker is working, which is not working. And also, um, this feature will add an ABC illustration from an SL550 or SL63 AMG. Uh, it's just going to show the um, the G-Force and all these other features, but it's good. It, it will show on the screen an SL, and you don't want to show, you don't want to have on the screen an SL if your car is an E-Class. Um, this model doesn't have a night vision, but also there are some MLs and some E-Classes or CLSs actually. They do have night vision, and if you if your car has a night vision and then you change the unit, this is where you go to say is installed and it will show there is a night vision option. These are uh, the split view. This car does not have a split view. Uh, it's not hybrid and it has a three spoke steering wheel. Um, it's a W212 and the start up screen. So it's going to show the car or it's going to show AMG. Uh, there's I think there are three different logos you can um, you have to select one and then restart the whole process in order to activate it and see if it what it is um, this car does not have a hybrid unit um, so we skip that and pretty much this is it all the um, um, the menus Now you can test the hard drive, fan settings, and, and other stuff. I do not recommend getting into all these stuff um, because you can you can probably damage the unit and then you don't want to pay extra money to put a used or new unit, which they are very expensive. Um, so if you have TVs on the rear like some MLs do or GLs um, or some E-classes, they do have TVs. This is where you activate or do the settings for the wireless um, headphones. And you can go end the setting. And this is engineering mode and you end it. Now to enter the dealer mode, which is like usually when the cars are new, they go to they, they are sent to the dealership they're they are in certain mode I think it's the demo mode so you can access the whole full radio you can only demo it so to do that um, you have to press hang up button number seven and number nine at the same time it's gonna be really hard to try but I'm gonna do my best so this is dealer menu um, volume settings, logins, demo, adjust, and it, some cars they do have a digital owner's manual, so you don't have an actual book, but some of them do have an actual book. Um, so you can delete that if you want to, and this is also a, this is more like a, a quick a quick menu instead of going through the engineering menu to start up screen market settings. And actually, this car is for US, so it's a US market settings. Uh, startup screen. Uh, like I said, you have to go through all these um, adjustments, correct, and correct position for the GPS, volume settings, uh, stuff like that. These are not really, I don't think anybody needs this menu to do any. Uh, settings or adjustments but is there and 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 then I'll show you the clock so pretty much this clock is from an ML I'm sorry SL or maybe some MLs do have that clock I'm not sure um, usually come with a square clock like this uh, on the screen, but I decided to change it. It's not not a big deal. And also the 360 view camera that's from factory. But anything you add, it will show up in this screen. Let's say like um, 
hybrid unit, all-wheel drive, or the SL, the ABC illustration. Um, this were all the stuff are added. This one has some models do have do show seats on the screen. Uh, actually, this AMG has the seat adjustments on the seat as far as lumbar and dynamic seats and massage and all that. So it's not on the screen, but hopefully this video will help some people to do some settings. A lot of people uh, look through for these videos to when they have problems with with their audio or aux connection or Bluetooth, something like that. Sometimes it helps, but also the problem is somewhere else and you're gonna spend some of your time looking through this and not find anything or it's not helpful for what you're looking for. Um, most of the programming and adaptations or variant codings and stuff like that has to be through Zentry or Vediamo, which is another offline option um, to do settings and stuff like that. But it all depends what you're looking for. Hopefully it's helpful for some people.